button on your notification bell you will still get those information you are looking for despite military and police presence fulani henchmen have killed another three injuring others in a fresh attacks on enugu communities that is the fulani rampaging yes it's unabated the killing spree has continued on bread road that is it so they have continued to decimate communities to kill people you know indiscriminately particularly in issues of local government area of enugu states and we're talking about agua med community mbuji community and the umojovu ebo community yes the villages in this community has been sacked they said up to 15 villages has been sacked and so people has run away they left their homes they full of the men destroying properties killing people you know so residents can no longer you know assess their farms and so it has become it has become worrisome and very disheartening and so and uh, from the account of a community leader yes a community leader he said that what the Fulani people are doing, that's the henchmen are doing, is very, very disturbing. Yes, Ogenyodo, he said that despite the military and police presence, the henchmen have continued to, you know, rain havoc on the people of these communities. He said that they are the mercy of the Fulani armed henchmen. That they, 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 the people are afraid of going to the farm. So, so many of them have been forced into IDP camps. According to him, said soldiers and policemen are there. But these terrorists still have unhindered access into the communities. Massacring defenseless residents and they will disappear. Nobody has been apprehended or even killed among the henchmen. Yes. Said, how can the police be there? How can the army be there? And these people are killing residents, citizens. In fact, they said the police and the army refused to go to the village, to the camps where they are staying. That is, they have taken over a particular village, and they are there. They are operating from there. They are attacking. They are attacking other villages from there, and the army and the police can't even go there. That is what they are saying. The residents are saying. You see. So it is very, very unfortunate that even the government of Enugu State, they are paying lip service to this. How can you bring people who are destroying lives and property in aiding and abetting the terrorists masquerading as hastmen to the zone, to villages, to communities? So what you are doing is just to, you know, give them security. The government provided security for the henchmen to attack the villagers. That is what is happening. They provided security, man, for them. The police and the army are protecting them from the villagers having a repressive attacks on them. That is what they are doing there, if you don't know. So when the government said they are deploying troops, you know, the government of the southeast, all the state governors, will begin to look at them. We begin to ask ourselves silent questions as these people, whether their brain is functioning at all. You know? So, a Jihagua we don't even know. Because what you are seeing is the fact that these people are aiding and abetting the Fulani Hesmen in their occupation agenda or mission. And again, you are allowing them to go into the hinterlands. I say you want to protect the villagers. The villagers knew very well that these people cannot protect them. The, 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 the police and the military, they are not their friends. They, they can't protect them. Yes, they know. After all, all these kidnappings, they are happening in rural areas. And the report coming from the rural areas indicates that these Fulani people, the kidnappers, the terrorists kidnapping people, they will always go and stay close to the, you know, to the military checkpoints. So the villages are aware. And who are you deceiving by, taking the, by deploying troops? to protect the villagers. The villagers are at, even at peace with some persons that are carrying guns that, 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 that they don't even know. Of course, 
Yes. When you say unknown gunmen, sometimes the villagers feel comfortable with them. Of course, than the people putting on uniform. It is ironical, of course, monumental irony, but that is it. Once, once they cite military people, the anxiety rises. Of course, if they cite people who are putting, who put, who carrying on gowns, but they are not wearing, that they are not wearing uniforms, they are not, they are not, they feel apprehensive, you know. But it, it will not be compared with that of the army, with that of the military. It won't be the same. They feel apprehensive seeing people carrying guns. Of course, they are human beings. They, they can't identify them. But they are putting on mufti. But they feel more apprehensive, appre apprehension when they see people who are putting on military uniforms. Because they have known that these people, as they are coming, you know, the henchmen will be following them. Yes, the way you see on the Nigerian roads, when you see road safety, you will see the army or the police checkpoints because the safety doesn't carry arms and ammunition. And so the police will be there to solidify them. And that is what they are doing between the henchmen. So if you see a, a, a police checkpoint or a, a military checkpoint, particularly a military checkpoint, you will be rest assured that you will see kidnappers behind them in the bush. That is what they are doing in the southeast. Yes, that's when we will say that the people are even comfortable seeing people who are not putting on military uniforms than those who are putting on military uniforms. In the recent time, even the full enhancement are now putting on the uniforms. Yes, incidences are bound, even in any good state. Around the four corner areas, the, with the recent kidnap that happened within the four corner area, the victims said that they were putting, the full enhancement were putting on the military uniforms. Oh, yes. So when you see an when you see someone who is putting on mufti, carrying gun, you can think that the person is an armed robber. So it's even better understood. You are safer because you can take your things, you can you can take your belongings and allow you to go. But these military people are going on with the full henchmen. The agenda is occupation. The agenda is to kill, destroy, and maim. You know, burn down properties, destroy lives, everything on the way. Just pull them down, kill everything inside, shoot aside everything. So it cannot be compared with those people we're talking about. The mere burglaries, those who carry place to Tugan burglar houses. They're not the same thing. These people on occupation, dangerous mission to run up the entire southern Nigeria, to kill people, to send them to the early graves. Because they are on a, a particular mission and agenda, and our regret is that our governors, those who are leading us, they are yet to understand the point we are making because they are being you know, over beclouded, overwhelmed by their crass desire to accumulate wealth. Yes, their primitive tendency to, to, to loot the sources of the people and to aggrand for, for self aggrandizement because they are ignorant of life and what it entails. That is it. So it's unfortunate that the South Easterners have those people as their leaders. So this is what is happening in these locations, like we're speaking. They have more free